All right, I've got a Porter Cable finished nailer, the FN250C, and it stopped firing on me. So I got up firing a nail and all I'm hearing is air and it's coming right out of the trigger. So a lot of air popping out of here. So um, what we did was take out the trigger, remove the trigger assembly, and put in an order on Amazon. Uh, for 16 bucks, I got a new assembly coming. So this is the old one. So I'm just gonna talk about real quick how I got the trigger assembly taken apart. Um, the first thing I did was these two pieces, these have little pins in him that you, in there that you have to pop out. And the best way, they look like this. And they're hollow. So you have to be real careful about what you use to punch those out. So I found the best thing to use to get these pins out uh, was to take some of the old nails out. So I grabbed the nails, pried them apart, and just took one of them. And I used the uh, head and to punch it out with a hammer. Uh, I did find that I took a, it was helpful to take a little file, file down the edge a little bit, uh, so it'd be a little bit smaller, a little smoother to punch through. Uh, but this worked for every pin I needed to take out, so this is what I recommend. Uh, so you're just gonna use a hammer, the nail, uh, grab a little file, file it down a little bit. So take your hammer, punch these through one, and punch the second one through. And then these little guys, these pins are a little different. This is a little cap here uh, that you have to punch through the center of it. So you punch through right through the middle and hopefully you leave the cap in place and intact. These are brittle, so you wanna be real careful with those. But I was able to take the pin or the nail, punch it through, and that's what these guys are. So you got the first pin, the second pin, and then the third one. This is the cap that's on the top, and this is the piece that I punched through. Once you do that, you'll have the trigger uh, and the assembly ready to be taken out. So the only thing you have to watch or do with the trigger is you got this little spring here this is hooked on the um, little piston there. So you just take a little screwdriver and pry that off and then you can remove the trigger. Uh, and then what you're left is that uh, assembly on the inside. It fits in that cavity right there. And so what I did, I just took a little screwdriver and pried this piece out. Um, once this piece came out, it left a little spring there Pull that out too, and then it's got these two inside, or these two additional pieces. Uh, the first one uh, basically just came out, and then the last one I had to uh, use a bolt. So this piece came out here, and then this piece stayed stuck inside. So it's hard to get out, but um, just with your fingers. So grabbing a bolt like this, you're able to go through the through it. You hook it, and then I just pulled it out with my fingers. I didn't need a, to pry it or out or grab with um, any tools. And then that pops out. So we'll follow up this video once we get a new one, and hopefully that'll fix our problem. All right, we got the new assembly got that in the mail today so now we're going to put that in and hopefully this guy will fire It's aligned in there. Gotta hook the spring. Okay, make sure that spring is hooked on top with that piston there. And when you look through, 
that little hole, make sure you can see through this guy. All right, we're gonna take the first pin, the backing, all right, guide it through. Okay, once it starts crowning, I'm gonna place the little cap. All right, punch that in the place, and we're good. Okay, so far so good. I gotta take the additional remaining ones. Take the big one first. I don't think it matters which side you go in. Second one. Take that old nail. Use the head side. Tack it. Finish tacking it in place. Testing out the safety, the trigger guard. Okay. All right, we are connected to air. We've got our nails loaded. Trigger's all ready to go. Um, disclaimer, I did spray some WD-40 in these two pins. They were a little tougher to get back in uh, than they were coming out. So I sprayed them and they popped in much easier. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Let's see. All right. There we go. Good as new. Before when I was pulling that trigger, the I could hear the air coming out of that trigger. But not anymore. We're back in business. Mission success. So, for I think 17 16.95 a new one of these guys and we're ready to go.